The sequence of the operating cycle of the casting cell is the following. The operator, after closing the molds, takes the alfin rings from the aluminizing furnace, places them in the relative molds, and authorizes the tilting movement of the bench in height. When the bolts are closed, the bench authorizes the robot to descend into the furnace. The level probes causes it to stop. Then the bath is skimmed in order to take off the alloy without oxide skin, using the ceramic lined casting iron ladle. At the end of scooping, the robot with an optimized trajectory lifts turns and descends towards the casting bench. The robot, low on the bench, begins pouring. And via an encoder, the bench instantly transmits its position to the robot to allow the correct follow-on during the seesaw movement of the bench, guaranteeing a pouring with a constant flow into the channels of the molds. At the end of pouring, the solidification time of the bench begins and the robot rises, turns and descends to the de-sculling station to detach the oxide skin of the ladle. If the acceptance of the bench is lacking, the robot follows the cycle to abort into the appropriate container. After the time needed for solidifying the top core is extracted, the molds opened and the casting unloader turns and descends to the bench. The gripper unit closes and the central cores and cores 4 to 5 divide. The casting unloader rises, turns and descends to deposit the pistons taken from the molds into the casting quench tank full of industrial water, which cools and prepares them thermically. The process is the partner of an exclusive supplier to Fata Aluminum for years the world leader in the aluminum foundry industry.